Hadouken! A new party at K1 and Oop here with UC Valkyrie in East London. We've just finished up for the night uh, from the Copper Box Respect World Series. How did you find the, the event? Oh, it was a great event. Um, uh, it was a uh, yeah, it was a good atmosphere to fight in, and uh, yeah, the people, the the crowd went crazy at every uh, action. So mm. uh, yeah, I like those kind of atmosphere. Yeah. You're quite young. How old are you again? Um, just turned recently turned 24. Yeah. So you got the baby face. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I plan to keep it that way. So. Ba- baby face ninja. Yeah. <laughs> a bit like the late, yeah? Another one. <laughs> like that. <laughs> cool. Um, is it your first time in England? Uh, no, I've been here before when I was really young, yeah. Yeah? But, but, but first time fighting over yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, cool. What's it like fighting away from home? Yeah, uh, I like it because uh, you, yeah, you really travel somewhere to, to do the thing you love. And yeah. It's it's different than back at home. I think for me also it was a bigger uh, a bigger event. So, yeah. yeah, that was good. For those that are watching and are, are new to you, where was home? Where did you grow up and so forth? I grew up in Amsterdam. Yeah, Amsterdam North, the rough part of Amsterdam, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's where I learned to fight. Also, um, on the, with this what. With bullies and stuff? Uh, well, no. Or, or in the gym? I, I didn't get my bike stolen or anything. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> well, the gym was also local, localized in uh, Amsterdam North. But, uh, yeah, this is where, where I came from. Yeah. No, it's understandable. <laughs> what about your family? Are they, are they into kickboxing or fighting? Anyone? Yeah, yeah. I got two brothers, and uh, they all like fighting. And, uh, you know, me too. <laughs> older or younger than you? They're both older, so I had to always so fight you, myself. So you had to get uh, some good beats. Yeah, yeah. Um, just water, please. Thank you. Water. Lake and yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got two older brothers, so yeah, yeah. You're, you're quite used to having to stand yeah, yeah. up with them when you're growing up. Yeah, yeah toughened you up. Exactly. So this is this is why I don't have problems sometimes fighting someone. Uh, Weighing more than me or something. Yeah, <laughs> because I got used to that <laughs> growing up. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that with with the people that I've that had, like say smokers in the clubs or amateur mm-hmm. bouts with, or, or train with, the ones that have got more older brothers, mm. they they just they just find fighting a lot easier because mm. they have grow up in the house with, with that going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how long have you been training then with Mike and, and before that, and just how did that all evolve? Okay, uh, I started uh, fighting when I was 16. I had the gloves for my birthday. And I uh, started uh, training at Mike's gym because this was two blocks away from my home. And uh, I, w- I wanted to train there like two years or something, mm. but I couldn't, you know, like my mother didn't like it because it was expensive and stuff. Yeah. So, so we, st- we, kept, we kept it on the streets, but then uh, finally at 16, we started training there. I started training there. I liked it, I liked it a lot, but it was just, uh, you know, for sport I didn't uh, immediately have uh, ideas of going into the ring. Um, yeah, a little bit later on the, the, the gym, it burned down. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, it took a while before a new gym opened, and when it opened it was a little bit further away, and it was for me hard to reach. Yeah, maybe in the, it wasn't, but you know, mm. in, my, in my eyes it was. And uh, I stopped training a while, and then later on, after I uh, discovered I liked fighting a lot, uh, I, uh, you know, I, I started doing it in the gym again <laughs> instead mm-hmm. of outside of it, and I liked that even more when I stepped in the ring. So I saw, I thought this really was my, uh, yeah, my calling. How you say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. If, it's, if it's what you love, yeah, it's, then yeah, you it's, just got you just got to go for it. Yeah, yeah. This is what I really love. So uh, this was at another gym, and I trained there for about two and a half years. And uh, recently, I uh, made a decision to go back to Mike's gym, mm. and uh, this was my first uh, first fight under this under his name. And uh, yeah, the trainings and everything, the preparations, everything was uh, very very good, and I'm happy with the result. So, uh, who for, for anyone who hasn't seen the fight, or mm. has, by the time this guy's out, hasn't gone up on YouTube any footage, yeah. who was it you fought, and and how did it go down from what you recall? Um, I fought uh, Sebastian Chubanu. Um, yeah, I think it's a no, well-known name mm. in the game. And uh, yeah, how did it go? I was training at Mike's gym, and uh, Mike told me uh, the day before yesterday that uh, there was a fight. Um, 
here in London and uh, it was against Sebastian Chibano and this would be a, a good chance for me to um, yeah, to make a little bit name and uh, so we took the fight you know with two days notice yeah two days notice yeah that's and, well there you go balls are still simple as that yeah <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah that's what we do you know you can always call us to fight I told you mm. I love to do it so why say no and, and, it, and it's very commendable of you because to step in that last minute, obviously a last minute replacement, mm-hmm. yeah. and for anyone of any level to, to have, your, have your opponent drop out mm. and then have no one there, at least, yeah. at least you, you did that, you know. Yeah, yeah, I did it a little bit for him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for yourself, but it's, it's really good yeah. because that's, that's one thing in kickboxing is that mm. we tend to have the shows not too badly effective because we have a good wider community, yeah, yeah, good yeah. network, and people come step in. Mm-hmm. And, and without that, and without that spirit that you guys have, yeah. That would have been one less fight. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I think we need real fighters in the game that really love to fight, that really take a- any fight. You know, because I see a lot of things happening that in the fight game recently, like people picking fights and stuff. You know, ducking fights. Anyone in particular? You, no, you... no, I don't like calling names, but no, I re- don't really have someone in my mind right now. It's just something I see a lot. Yeah. yeah. Whereabouts? Just in the global scene or back home in the Netherlands? Or no, no, Europe? global. And it's not even only kickboxing. It happens in most and, fighting yeah. competitions, you know. Yeah. Fair enough. But, yeah. um, so, um, coming to England and you're going to be shooting off pretty soon. Mm. What's, where do you go from here? Where, where's, what's next in the list? Um, yeah, what's next? Um, I'm going to train very hard, you know, and uh, I see this as a first step. It's a, it's a big name we took down first round mm. so uh, yeah was it was it the knee sorry it was, was the knee yeah. it was the knee to the chin oh, I've yeah, seen yeah, I've yeah. seen um, I saw something mm-hmm. managed yeah. to see something okay, okay. and um, I think he you got him towards the ropes and then you yeah. threw in the knee after a couple of punches didn't you yeah yeah it was a jumping knee and then the chin yeah yeah, yeah. So a very nice finish that, that is somewhere surfacing in Facebook world so you should be able to see that <laughs> seen it before the fight's out yeah um, yeah, so you, you went in there, you just steamrolled him, and that's literally it, wasn't it? Yeah, that's actually how it <laughs> went down, and how it will go down the next uh, matches. Just follow me, because, uh, yeah, that's what I do, you know. That's good. What do you, um, you obviously, you know, your love for the fighting and kickboxing mm-hmm. comes through very, very um, strongly. Mm. But, you know, you're only 24, mm. you've got a fantastic team and the coaches around you. What is it for you that you want to achieve? What drives you on apart from, you know, having everything around you? What, yeah. what is it for you? What you say is, is good. I like, you know, I do it for everything around me, you know, for the people around me. I make them, hap- I make them happy. I make them proud. For myself, as you say, for the love I, I carry for the sport. So well, if you do something you love, you do it for yourself also. But also because I want to be, you know, something. I want to, you know, take something out of myself that, mm. that is, you know, hard to reach, you know, to be legendary, to be huge, to, yeah. yeah, also be recognized, be famous, it's not about that, but you know, just to be big, you know, bigger than yourself, than you to are be, now, To you know? go, it's all about levels, yeah, I yeah. think so, and you want to go so. to the very top, that's, yes. that's what it is, that's you want to exactly be the best you possibly is. can, yes, and more than that, and I don't even know how to explain that, because you know, there's, you know, you know, you I understand know. it, yeah, okay. I understand that's it, good. That's I good. think people that do kickboxing understand mm. it, mm-hmm. the wider audience yeah. Hearing your voice mm. and that passion come through, that's important. Yeah. Then they get it, True. which is which is yeah, very yeah. important. And I'll show them because you know words, you know actions speak louder than words. words. Yeah, but you <laughs> proved tonight. Look, you don't just walk, you know, you don't just uh, talk the talk. Mm. You walk the walk with a flying knee. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> that's it's as simple as that, really. Yeah. You back up yeah, what you yeah. say. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know? Yeah. So it's not it's not about being cocky. Yeah. Some people say uh, I had someone say to me actually the other day that. Oh, the the Dutch are um, perceived to be a bit timid, a bit too concerned mm. about what other people think about them, mm. and there's all sorts of issues around that, and, and social 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 issues around it, and they don't like it if you say something, and then you just fall short, or you do it, and you still say something more, mm. and, and I'm thinking like, what? Mm-hmm. Well, this is like, why why would you not, if you you're determined about something, yeah. you say it. You say it. If you if you put everything in there, like, it's like you know, you go into two men go in a ring. Mm. It, one guy's gonna lose. No. But if you put everything in the ring that day, you can't you, lose. There's, yeah. You can lose you, the match, you, but you can't lose. Yeah. You, know, you, yeah, you, you can't lose your, your heart. You can't exactly. lose your pride. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. So, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, which other organisations have you fought on so far, and what's um, the record been like to date? 
Sorry, what what's, what's your, the fight, what's your the record, fight record okay. like today and where, uh, where else have you fought? Mm-hmm. I fought uh, a lot of Dutch organizations, you know, this is where I started building up a little bit. And recently I fought a lot for Infusion, mm. you know, it's an organization that is coming up. And uh, I fought for Super Combat, you know, yes. and this, this organization, Respect World Series, is my last fight. Now I have uh, 19 fights, 19 wins. and. Uh, well, with edit today, I got 11 KOs. So uh, I'm just wanting to build this record uh, up and in even more organizations. And I want to, uh, you know, take all the belts that they have. Good. Uh, yeah, you want to uh, build on that momentum. That's, that's really good stuff. I'm uh, sure. I'm sure people will, you know, be keeping tabs on you and looking forward to you building on that. Yeah, I hope so. You know, I be- I don't believe in, as I said, I don't believe in losing. I want to keep this record. I want to keep the clean. Mm-hmm clean record and even if I lose a match you know I will be uh, I will be there to, to to beat his ass the next time or something you know <laughs> or come strong, stronger from it yeah for me that, there's only one way and that's up so, yeah. that's cool. one thing I want to ask you you know you train at a very well established gym is there anyone who you currently training with who when you were younger you looked up to as a sporting hero a sporting idol mm, no I've been clear about this uh all the time, you know, Badahari is a, is a big, is a big uh, legend in my eyes and my hero. And I haven't seen him at the gym yet because, yeah, he's he's planning on doing one more match. And uh, yeah, I hope he's, uh, this will go through. You know, this is not in his hands. I think it's more in the organization's hands. And uh, if they come up with uh, with uh, with the good, uh, you know, the good money, then he'll be in the gym. And then I hope I will train with him and uh, be part of his preparation, maybe. You know. And that learn a few things from him as well. Oh yes, yes, yes. That yeah, that would be uh, definitely. Um, what's it? I remember. I think it was Myrtle Gronart said in, mm-hmm. it, on it, in some footage I once saw that with Bada when he's in the gym, it's not just about him being a badass. He, the knowledge he shares, he imparts on people is is priceless. Um, so yeah, if you, if you do get trained with him, I'm sure you're definitely going to pick up. Yeah, I, I hope so. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Uh-huh. Cool. Brilliant. Is there anyone you want to say thank you to? Anyone you want to say anything to? Any messages? Mm-hmm. Feel free. Yeah, well, right now, because uh, we went here in London on a short notice, and I want to thank my friends, Angelo Boss, Donny Boss, for coming with us, you know, on this uh, short notice. I want to thank uh, Mike Passanier for, uh, for giving me the hard training and the opportunity. And, uh, yeah, and... Uh, yeah, my mom. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> mom always, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much and look forward to you building on this momentum. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks.